Today I'm going to demonstrate the changes to accession records in Atom version 2.6. If you create a new accession record, you'll see this option to add alternative identifiers here. This is a repeatable field and you can add more identifiers by clicking add new. The taxonomy currently only defines the type accession alternative identifier, but you do have the option of changing it by going to the taxonomies page. From there, you can select Accession Alternative Identifier Type. Here, you can add another term. This might be a historical number, or a number from a previous system, or even a barcode. Any of these can be added to the taxonomy as necessary, and then will show up within the taxonomy here. You can then add that type of alternative identifier to a new or existing accession record. And once saved to the record, you will be able to view the identifier types from here. You can now also link physical storage to accession records. You can see on the right-hand column if any storage is already linked to the record. To edit storage locations, click on More and select Link Physical Storage. You can add existing physical storage containers to it here, or you can also create new containers from this section. Now some accession records might have location information but not be linked to physical storage, such as this example here. You can now go and add this location by linking to the physical storage. Once this is complete, you will see it appear here. You can click on the location and it will take you to the physical storage module. Here you can not only see the archival descriptions linked to this physical location, but you can now also see the accession records that are also associated with this location here. For more information about the new accession records features and links to documentation, please see the Atom 2.6 release notes. Thank you.